Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Paige, this is my Great Pyrenees Mellow and in today's video we are going to be talking about the five most common behavioral issues or problems that Great Pyrenees can develop or they can go through. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So number one is going to refuse to come when called. So this is actually very common in the breed Great Pyrenees due to their um, independence. They all, like they won't want to come right when you call them. It does take a lot of practice to get them to reliably, reliably come when called, but even then they sometimes might refuse to come even when you ask them. So it definitely does take a lot of training, but it's just something that goes like throughout the whole Great Pyrenees breed, you know, they will just refuse to come like they'll ignore you they choose when they want to hear you so you'll be sitting there calling them and they'll kind of just look at you like you're crazy number two is going to be barking you probably hear people say great pyrenees bark a lot and that is true they bark a ton now that being said you can teach them not to bark but it's always going to be in their breed and in their genetics they were bred they're going to bark that's how they deter predators and that's how they protect their family so that is another um, behavioral issue you are going to have to look out for because they will bark throughout the day, throughout the night. Now, Mello, he is an inside dog, so he doesn't really bark throughout the night except occasionally. Um, it's very rare for him to bark at night, but he will bark throughout the day when he sees something or if we're outside. He barks a lot. So number three is counter surfing. So this is actually something common. This is mainly for Great Pyrenees that are inside. But counter surfing is basically just where they are so big that they will steal stuff off, steal stuff off of the counters and stuff like that. Now again, you can train that out of them. But when Mello was a puppy, we would have to watch him with counter surfing because you couldn't leave anything on the counter. Um, you know, they don't have to put their two paws. They can reach the countertops and they will take whole pizzas off the counter. So make sure if you're having, if you have a Great Pyrenees puppy who is still learning, make sure you keep stuff on the counter as far back as you can or don't leave anything on the counter because they will steal anything off the counter so number four is going to be pulling on the leash so number four is going to be pulling on the leash great pyrenees are very stubborn so when they smell something they will tend to pull for it or they will try and get to it as best as they can so they will pull on the leash. So you do want to make sure you teach them nice leash manners when they're puppies. That way when they're older, they don't develop any of the leash pulling habits. Mellow, he's not, he's really good on leash. You know, he doesn't pull. A little kid would walk him, but you do have to be careful when he picks up a scent because he will try to pull towards that. So that's just something to be aware of. So the last behavioral issue we're going to be talking about is that is chewing on leashes and collars. So Mello wasn't a big chewer when it came to like furniture and stuff. However, he would always chew on his leashes. He would chew on his harnesses. He would chew on his collars. So you have to be careful with that because I've had other people tell me that their Great Pyrenees also did the same thing. So I definitely recommend you put your leashes and harnesses as high up as possible and don't leave like anything on your dog unattended because they will chew it if they get the opportunity. They are very stubborn and they will do whatever they want whenever they feel pleased. So you do want to make sure that you are watching them with anything and everything. And this goes for any puppy too, but Great Pyrenees especially, they will chew on harnesses. And like, you can't even leave it on them for like a couple of seconds because they will chew it. So make sure once you are done taking them on a walk, you take that harness off as soon as you get in the door. So that is going to be five common behavioral issues with Great Pyrenees. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye!